Because I'm you from the future. Hey guys, this will be how to edit a brick film in Final Cut Pro X. Now I've made a tutorial with all like general stuff about editing, and you can click to watch that here if you haven't already. And this stuff is going to be pretty specific to Final Cut Pro X, so here we go. First I'm just going to create a new event, and this is where all your um, project media is stored, and I'm going to call that editing, editing example. Brilliant. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and put a few things in there. First of all, I have some sound effects loaded in. Let's drag them into here. Editing example. Okay. Then we got to make a new project. I'll we'll go down to this plus button down here. I'm going to call it editing example. Default event, editing example, that's good. That's where all the media is the correct project link to the correct media. Um, settings, 1080p HD, that's good. 30 frames per second. That's what I usually use now. That means you can go either 30 frames per second or half of that, 15 frames per second. When you make one picture, go for two frames instead of one. This will slow it down. I usually take the photos so that it will appear good at 15 frames per second, but sometimes that's just not fast enough, so I'll go up to 30. So um, audio default settings, that's good. Alright, so now I'm just going to go into iPhoto. This is usually where I store all my photos, yeah, there's a lot of them just for this time travel project. Yeah. I'm going to try and find the scene that we're going to be editing today. It's for iPhoto is really good just to preview what it looks like before you edit it together. Here we go. So it starts there. Alright, then we scroll down, and this is where it ends. So then what we're going to do is resize this drag those photos into here. Now at the moment it doesn't really matter how long each photo goes for. At the moment it totals at about 30 seconds. So just gonna zoom in on that a bit. That's fine. Anyway, so then just select all the photos. I'm gonna press Control D on my keyboard and it'll come up with um, this menu here will show you how long each picture will go for like once we type it in so I'll go for two frames see how this FR here that stands for frames so each picture will go for two frames since there's 30 frames per second that means that there'll actually be 15 pictures every second so I'm just gonna hit enter they all go really small, and what's how long is it now? Just over two seconds. Nice. Not doing too well with the zooming here. All right. Now let's just play that back. Have a look. That looks all right already. Fifteen frames per second. Um, but there's a few parts where we got to stop it and drag out a few frames a little longer. So what I'm going to do before I do that is record a voice to go along with it. So to go that, just go type in record audio. There we go. Destination. Input device, blue snowball, that's the microphone I use, so that's good. And that's good. Ready to go. Now I'm going to click this button here to record. Because I'm you from the future. There we go. We have our clip. I'm just gonna re um, resize it here so that it cuts off the first bit of silence. Put it at the start. Now it's not gonna be aligned at the moment, obviously, because I haven't done anything. But let's just have a listen. Because I'm you 
from the future. Alright. Sounds pretty good. So I'm going to keep that. Now the first part, when he's just saying because, is when he's going to be going up like that. Now when he lifts his hand up, that means he's saying, I'm you. Alright. So we're going to find the particular frame where he stops one movement and starts the next. Alright, there he starts the... Alright, that's where he stops the first movement. I'm just going to select that frame, press Ctrl D again, and type in a second, which is 100, zero zero, or you can just type in 30 frames, and it will default to 100. Zero zero. One second. Just press enter. Now, we can change that e more easily now just by dragging it out and whatever, <laughs> but at the moment it's pretty good. So, so this is this waveform here. It's where he says, because, so that's what we want to. And then when he starts saying, I'm you, that's when we want the next movement to start. I'm you. That's pretty good already. So let's just have a look. Because I'm you from the future. That looks pretty good, so. Now, at the end here, obviously has to extend a lot longer, so at the moment I'm just going to type Control D and go 4 seconds. Okay. From the future. Now, as you, if you noticed from the clip I played at the start, he, um, it zooms in on his face with every word he says. So we can do that easily in Final Cut Pro X. So let's just find the place where he wants to zoom in. From the. So we want between from and the, it zooms in. From. That's a pretty good spot there. And I'm just going to hit the B key. That'll change it to the blade tool here. And then click there to separate that into different clips. See how there's a separation there now. Okay, now we'll find the next word. From the f it's about where he starts to say future. That'll be when it's fully zoomed in. By the way, I just pressed the A key to go back to this pointer instead of the blade. See, these are all the shortcut keys. They're pretty, they're pretty handy. So, go back to the select now. Let's um, let's zoom in on this one a little bit. So to do that, we can just click on here. It's actually called cropping, and then go from trim instead of trim, go to crop. Grab this here, zoom in a little bit. How does that look? Oh, look at that. Almost an invasion of privacy. No. Now it goes a little too far to the left on this third one here, so I'm going to change that like that. Okay, I reckon that might be pretty good. Go from the start, press spacebar to play. I'm you from the future. It's nice. All right. Now, um, if you can remember from the uh, finish clip. There was a few sound effects, like suspense and dun dun dun, when he's saying, I'm you from the, f from the future, All right? So we're just going to add them. Now I have them already. Let's just close out of this record audio window. Um, I already have them in here, so. First of all, we'll add the suspense sound at the start. Now. This is a gunshot sound. It's not really what you want to hear, but let me show you something. You know that sus really weird suspense sound in movies? It's actually usually just a gunshot in reverse. 
It's pretty weird, huh? So I'm just gonna um, uh, cut off the big crack because you don't want to hear that, and then ease it in a bit by dragging this little ball here. Right? This way there won't be a crack. So let's just play this not in reverse first. All right, so that's not very harsh, the crack at the start now, it's pretty smooth. So now we can reverse it, so we can just go up, select the clip, go up here, go retime reverse speed. That is not reverse speed, that is reset speed. Reverse clip. Now it's reversed, so first we can just align it to where it's supposed to go. Um, just guessing here. From the future. Nice, that sounds good. So I actually eased in the start because when I reversed it, it kept it at the start, which is not that great. So just ease it out at the end instead now. See so, you know, what it sounds like. From the future. All right, that sounds pretty good. Now we're going to add the dun sounds, like the dun 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 when he's saying from the future each time. So up here I have the dun 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 sound. Now I'm just gonna select the first one. Drag it in. See. Okay, so that's this is where this is where the new dun starts, so we have to cut it off so it's only one. Ease it in a little bit. That was a pretty um, decent sound, so we'll just turn it up a little bit. Uh, hold down Alt and drag to make copies. So I'm going to do that a couple times. Now let's just watch it from the beginning again. Because I'm you from the future. Nice. Alright, so there's one last thing I wanted to add, and that's just some traffic background noise. So there's going to be some traffic there, because they're in a city. So let's drag that in. Now a lot of these resources where I get, um, get my sound effects and music from are either built in here into Final Cut Pro by clicking this. There's a lot of sound effects, a lot of music already built into Final Cut Pro. And also I have some websites I usually get them from, and they'll be uh, linked in the description. So hopefully that'll help. Let's just hear what it sounds like with the traffic. Because I'm you from the future. Alright, that's a little loud I think. You may not be able to hear it that well, but it's pretty um, overpowering to the voice. So I'm just going to lower it by dragging this bar here to about negative 14 decibels and I'm going to cut it off at the end so it just doesn't extend forever after the video has already ended here so it's gonna press B to go to the blade tool click A to go to the select tool select delete that was just the delete key and let's have a look because I'm you Alright, it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty sure that's not exactly where I put the suspense sound in the actual time travel video, but but it sounds pretty good there, so it doesn't really matter. Um, there's a little bit better at the start, but there we go. That's basically how I edit most of my brick films because and stop motions. Alright. Now we have to export it into a movie file because at the moment it's just a project and you can't upload that to YouTube unless you do something else first. So just go up to this button here, go whatever it says there, it doesn't really matter which one you pick. And then go to settings, make sure this is H.264, that'll be really good um, for compressing the file size for faster upload times. 
um, then make sure it's video and audio. You don't want only one of them. And the other stuff is pretty good, so let's go next. And then pick where you want to save it and then press save. Now this is the little progress bar here, so this shouldn't take too long for a short video. And we just wait until it pops up on the screen. There we go. Because I'm you from the future. And there we have it. Hope you found this helpful and yeah.